Hey, what's up, guys? So we're here at CES today uh, with Rexing, who does dash cams, and I've got with me uh, Ryan Nelson. Uh, he's the media manager. Is that right? Yes, media that's manager right. yeah. for uh, for Rexing. Media, our content here, Rexing. Yeah. yeah. And so what I really like about them is, uh, you know, I cover a lot of dash cams, and you guys are always saying, well, what about some of the more affordable options? You know, if I don't want to drop three, four hundred dollars in a dash cam, uh, they make actually quite a few uh, dash cams that we're going to be talking about, and Ryan's going to tell us about. Uh, a lot of the options here. Yeah, so we have got a great majority of our cameras here that we're presenting today at CES. Right here we have the V1, so that's the, uh, we're actually going to be able to get that, at, sorry, sorry. The v, no, we were joking about the V1, the oh, Valentine yeah, 1, yeah, the yeah. radar detector. Right, so yeah. not to be confused with the radar detector. Not v1. the same thing. It's not a radar detector, <laughs> I assure you. I promise it's a dash cam. <laughs> But yeah, so we have the V1 here, and this is only going to run you $99.99 for this one. And what you get with the V1 is 1080p video. Okay, you get 1080p video, it's a 170 degree uh, wide angle lens. And what you're going to do with this, as you can see by the beautiful display here, this is how it's going to mount right to your windshield. And there, I can't quite reach with my fingers, that's a shame. But there's a little swivelable, uh, or at least you know, adjustable. Uh, camera right here. So, that's so you can rotate. It. There's a little dial there. You can do that to adjust right, it. as well. You can, you can uh, do it by the dial. You, he, he already knows more about the product than I do. So yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Basically, exactly you're looking at 1080p, you know, good video quality, driving only, not parking mode. Uh, GPS is not available, but it does have a plug-in if you want to get the GPS antenna. That's right. Um, and then there's also now the new version of it, the third generation of the V1. Yeah, right? we do. We have it. So the V1 Gen 3 is actually, it's presenting the uh, exact same kind of compact, discrete body. So from the outside, you're not going to notice the difference in the new generation, but on the inside, that's where it's special. On the inside, you're going to get 2160p resolution, okay? So that's 280, uh, 2880, excuse me, by 2160. And so higher get? than 1080p and higher than yeah. 1440p. Yeah, yeah, that is about three times the resolution actually of, in, in terms of effective pixels as 1080p. So that's really a major benefit in terms of the, uh, the quality that you're going to get with the recordings. I mean, especially when it comes to things like uh, reading license plates, you know, uh, just you know, having very good vision of what's going on. Having that resolution can be crucial sometimes. So that's a really, uh, it's a major benefit. And one of the other great things about the new generation, something that we're rolling out in a lot of our newer products, is Wi-Fi module capabilities. So what that allows you to do, there's a Wi-Fi module built into the camera. And there is actually an app that you can use on your smartphone, Androids, uh, iOS, you know, whatever phone you use. There's an app available on the market. It's uh, completely free. And you can use that to view your recordings, play them back, and save them to your device. So you can use the LCD or you can use your phone with Wi-Fi. Exactly. You can view them over the LCD. You could, of course, do the, uh, you know, the method that you would do uh, with, with all the other cameras, which is just to take out the uh, memory card, plop it into your computer or other device that you want to read it on. But yeah, the Wi-Fi module just gives you one more option to use it with an app. So. OK. And then, so as far as the resolution, um, I guess, I know we're here at Rexing, but like people are always going to ask about the A119. And so like one of the biggest differences, is probably the biggest competitor, is you got even higher resolution. So that one caps yeah. out at 1440p. This one's 2160p. Yes. Which we were talking about a little bit earlier. It's kind of like 4K, but it's not. Like the aspect ratio and the pixels are a little bit different. So it's like three times the resolution of 1080p. So right. not quite as good as for like true 4K, but definitely higher than the 1440p that you'll see from other dash cams. Yeah, well the thing is, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to make compromises on the basis of, of kind of utility, of right. what you're using it for. And a lot of the times what we think is, people are, all, you know, they're often asking, how many hours of recording can I get on like a 64 gigabyte card? And yeah. so you would say about 11 hours of recording on like a 1080p uh, resolution with a 64 gigabyte card, right? Now consider that, but with 4K. Uh, you know, yeah. not not quite the same amount of time. There's always the trade off. Drivers yeah. that are on the road for a long period of time, I don't think that there's as much of a reason to record in that kind of clarity. So we, we we feel like we found a good you know neutral point where it's very good resolution, great quality. You can make out the details such as license plates. It's important. Yeah. But it doesn't take up too much on the car. So that's you know that was a, a decision um, that you know motivated that. Yeah, or, makes sense. I guess you know reason then, behind that. So the price point of the new V1 third generation, what are we yes. looking at there? So we're looking at $129.99, so that's about $30 increase from the old generation of the V1. For and, uh, much higher resolution and Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, that's, wi that's and nice. it actually does come with a 16 gigabyte card, a class memory card to get you started. Okay. Yeah. And then, so we've also got the uh, the V1P here. Yes. And so what is, what's this camera? It looks like a dual channel? It is. So it's a dual channel camera. Uh, the V1P, it's going to be recording a 1080p resolution, similar to the, the V1, the current uh, generation two, or as we call it, the last generation. Uh, and sometimes we refer to it as the generation two, the old V1. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so it's 1080p quality, and the rear camera is going to be shooting in four 
ADP. So that's a VGA connection you can see here. And that taps in right to the side, right there on the camera. And uh, of course, you know, it's very long cable. Some people with, you know, uh, it, it's a, so they have a truck, they might want to buy like a rear camera extension cable. And you can buy just any type of cable to do that. It's basically just a 3.5 millimeter uh, extension. So okay. really, it, it, uh, it fits basically in anybody's use in that capacity. So pretty much dual channel, uh, 480p, a little bit lower than average. But since yeah. we're going for like the more affordable solution, that's going to be awesome, yes. right? Yeah, so this is uh, definitely one of the more affordable solutions. We do have another, well, we have a couple other uh, dual channel uh, yeah. options. Speaking but of which, speaking this of next which, one right, over here. So let's move on to <laughs> the other option, right? <laughs> so the, um, right, so the V1 LG is uh, a camera which, you know, in a lot of ways is uh, a bit of an upgrade from the V1P. LG, and, like large. It's yeah, large, physically right. bigger. LG, it's larger, it's a little <laughs> bit bigger. You can see the screen. Uh, these screens are uh, 2.4 inches diagonally, 2.4 inches, and this is 2.7 inches. So you can definitely tell it's a bit of a wider screen. So if you know your your goal, uh, especially some people, they like to use this as a backup camera. So that's your goal is to be able to see the display while you're driving in any capacity. Okay. That's going to give you that benefit. So aside from um, well, I should mention. So the upgraded resolution of the actual rear camera, uh, the dual channel, is 720p. 720, so 720, 480, 720. Right. So it's VGA HD. And then for the both front cams, they're 1080p. 1080p. Right. So and very similar uh, recording quality with the front camera. And then there's also the GPS here. It's integrated in the dash cam as opposed yes. to external plug-in with these ones. Yep, exactly. So there is an internal uh, GPS, as you just said, and what that allows you to do is it uh, lets you log your speed, log your location, and we have a specialized application for uh, the playback of these video files that, you know, the, um, the information is embedded to the actual video itself. So you can actually see, just like on Google Maps, you basically see a real-time you know, cool. representation of you on the map. So that's how that works, yeah. And so next, we've got a really compact camera. It's their smallest dash cam that they have. It's called the F10. F10, yes, mm -hmm. exactly. So tell us a little bit about the F10. So the F10, all right. So I just mentioned, uh, this is our most compact camera. And as you can see, uh, it mounts a little bit differently than the others. It's got uh, a suction do, cup. It does. It has a suction cup mount, so it's a little bit different. You can swivel this a little bit more freely than you, you can with some of these other mounts. Mm -hmm. uh, we also do uh, uh, offer some of these suction cup mounts for some of the other models, such as the V1, V1P, et cetera. Uh -huh. but, um, one of the great things about this, aside from being so compact, is it doesn't lose any of its recording quality. So okay. 1080p, 1080p, still, good. 1080p resolution, um, the recording quality is very comparable to that of the B1, and we actually only offer this at $59.99. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it's a really affordable price point for Good budget option. recording, yeah. And I see you've got Wi-Fi included as well, which usually you don't at that price point. Yeah, usually you don't. And this That's is, cool. so, I mean, it's an initiative uh, of ours to have this technology, the Wi-Fi monitor technology in all of our newest cameras. So, okay. uh, as, cool. I, as I mentioned before, the um, the V1, the, the next generation V1, the, uh, you know, the Wi-Fi, that's like a standard thing. And that's, uh, we'll talk about this in a minute, but... Yeah. That's there, that's here, and you know, we look to bring it to all our future models. Yeah. So. One other thing I'm noticing is the viewing angle is a little bit different. It's 140 degrees instead yes. of 170. It's a little bit narrower. Yeah, so the, um, the lens, the lens technology is a little bit different. Um, so, you know, as I mentioned, the recording quality is definitely comparable to that of like the V1, but the, uh, the lens, we opted for a little bit of a different thing to fit the compact size. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. And then, so the next one, I guess it's one of the bigger ones, this has a front and a rear dash cam. Yes, we this do. One. Yeah, so this is a really interesting one. I'm actually very excited about this one because this is our newest model, the V2, and it is very the appropriately... The V2. Yeah, the V2. It's very appropriately named the V2 because it's it basically the V1, but with two cameras. Okay. Um, it's got, you know, so, well, let's say, you know, I should definitely clarify what that means. So, as you can see, you were just playing with this right here. One goes back, one goes forward. And what that allows you to do, especially if you're like, you know, ride sharing, Lyft, like Uber, Uber yeah. taxi driver, this can be invaluable because you're actually able to monitor what goes on inside of your car. The interior plus the front of the road. And you don't have to compromise either because you get 1080p recording quality from either. Okay. Um, you, or from both, I should say. Okay, from both. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, so that's Wi-Fi capability. Same thing. It's got the Wi-Fi. Same interface as the F10 and the new V1. And um, you know the uh, you, you mentioned that the uh, on this one at least the, uh, uh, the lens technology is a bit different. Mm -hmm. This one does not. It's uh, like 170 not degree viewing angle. The cool. 170 degree angle. Uh -huh. So you know the best way to think of this is really the V1 times two. You really get uh, you know the option to tool it each way, but the uh, the uh, recording quality is uncompromised. So it seems like in a nutshell, designed for Lyft, Uber drivers, you want yes. to record. So it's a two channel. Doesn't record out the back window. It records the cabin to record your passengers, anything that's going on in the car. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then. And so I see you've got uh, Wi-Fi is built in, uh, f1.8 lens, so it should be less than a lot of light at night. Yeah, and, uh, low light, yeah. Okay, cool. And then bigger dash cam, it's got the LCD and a bunch of buttons, but yeah. yeah. And then so the next one that we have over here is the R1, which 
you guys like radar detectors in the Valentine one, the Valentine yeah. two. We joked like, should, it's, it's actually here. It's, it never comes it's out. It's not a radar detector. And now we've got the R one, so yeah, it's we, not a unit in. It's the R one. We didn't even know we were like. We're That's competing. really funny. We're competing with the names. So yeah. this is funny. So this is a kind of a dash cam and a rear view mirror all built in. Yeah, so this is really great because you actually replace, you know, your standard rear view mirror of the car. It's, I mean, it's easily detachable and, and uh, you know, interchangeable and you would be putting this there instead and... It's like it actually clips see, onto the rear view mirror. It's just, it's taped down. Yeah. So it basically just attaches onto your existing rear view mirror. So installation is pretty simple. Yeah, so sorry, I shouldn't say like replace. It replaces it in the way that it, you know, gets uh, in front of the original rear view mirror. Okay. So as you can see, um, you know, with this kind of mount that we have currently, it is a bit wider than some other rear view mirrors. So you definitely get a good field of view uh, just in general as a rear view mirror. But of course, the benefit of the technology is you can't quite see it from the camera, but this camera, it points out towards the road ahead. Okay, so this is your normal front-facing dash cam, and then you also have a rear-facing dash cam that you install somewhere in the back of the car. It is, yeah. That's okay. exactly how it is. So it's the same um, you know, idea as uh, the, the V1P and the V1LG, for example, where you have a rear camera that you can wire all the way to the back of your car to uh, record. And then it shows up, looks like, right here? Yes. On the screen? Yep. So here's, here's a really funky thing about this. Really funky, funky in a good way which is that uh, you can actually wire it to uh, correspond with the rear view uh, lights of your, of your car. So when you're backing up, mm -hmm. I should say, when you're backing up your car, it's actually going to change the screen and full screen the uh, rear view camera. That's so you cool. Can so you shift into reverse and it yeah. automatically turns on and off for you. It's a backup camera. That's cool. So it's mean, actually it's, like a backup camera. You know, it's, it's a native backup camera. So that's, uh, that's what it allows you to do. Yeah. Cool. And then, so what about the price points? I know you said $59.99 for the F10. Yes. What about these other two here? So the V2, the V2 is going to be $139.99. And, okay. um, you know, it's pretty affordable as far as, you know, what you're getting uh, refuel. So that's uh, we're proud to be able to offer at that price point. And then the R1, what's the price of this guy? So the R1 is actually only going to be, it's only $79.99. Really, right for the mirror, the screen, two cameras, and everything? Yeah, which is uh, it's That's a pretty really great. Good deal. It's pretty great at that price point. Um, yeah. As you just mentioned, it, it comes included with the rear camera, no extra costs uh, included there. And so 1080p, you get yeah. You see. What's, the, what's the rear resolution? The rear one? resolution, um, as it's it's very similar to the V1P, um, uh -huh. so the rear resolution is 480p. So okay. it's a VGA camera. Makes but yeah, sense. the price point that you get it at, it's that's, um, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It really is. It's a, it's a bargain. Yeah, so 1080p front, 480p rear. And yeah, so that seems to be the big appeal of your dash cams is yeah. like, really nice price points, a lot less expensive, and you're still getting high resolution and all that good stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's something that I, I feel the the whole idea of like a dash cam, you know, people, they've, they've heard them mention before, they've heard them mention, especially with regards to police, they say there's dash cam for, for police, but they don't often see them in like a consumer light. They don't think that it's like an affordable technology. They think that it's like an integrated thing that they do with the cruiser, several thousand dollars, so and so. Like, no, mm -hmm. like these are affordable for you and me. Like that's I nice, have one yeah. in my car, you know, um, our founder, of course, everybody at the company has one in their car. And, of course, yeah. And it's, it's it's, it's a really great addition. I, I honestly feel very secure with them, and I'm really glad that I found out about them because uh, yeah. it's, it's given me a great sense of security about my driving. So. Definitely. Cool. Well, hey, thank you so much for yeah, sharing, thank Ryan. Thank you so much. I really yeah. appreciate you having me. Yeah, and, good. Uh, you know, All right. See you guys. Bye.